Hi guys. Um, yes, I hope I hope everyone is doing very very fine and uh, everything is going on well. And as Bravo Shoes Community Support Organization, we appreciate everyone that has supported our journeys and those who are supporting Bravo Shoes as a brand that is behind all this support uh, support of the children uh, from different areas of the country. Yes, I am here to give you just a brief of how our journey went and this journey was in Palisa, Palisa and Tororo. We just need to bring you the visual part of it and see how in short we made it in that district. As you can see, um, yes, I've just these are little girls, those are little girls as well and uh, you can see how we walked our journey, these are homesteads, you know, the, the, so this is one of the girls that we picked here. Um, yes, if, if I would take you a little bit back, uh, if when you get here, this is the mother uh, of these little children. These are the little girls, the two girls, the one in, in, in dark brown, in brown, and then the one that is in hot pink. These are the little girls that were moving in rain that we, we, we had to follow up uh, in Tororo. Maybe at the end, I'm going to give you their video of how you know this was achieved okay so these are the little girls with their mother she's a mother she's 31 years old and she has about seven uh, children of her own yes as we continue yes and uh, these are the little girls um, both of them this is at their home as we're taking interviews from them when we get here this is as you see this is the young uh, man madu musa who took us uh, through uh, this whole process from Bali, uh, he met us at um, he met us in on LinkedIn, and he pledged that he knows this place which is called Milo Tattoo, and then you know it's how our life became easier uh, to get to these girls. So he's the one uh, on camera there. Then of course as we go, whenever Bravo sh uh, shows community support goes, we have this young man as you see. Most of you have been seeing the aerial view the capture of the areas that we go to and you wonder how we do it this is the young man that is behind is called wallen we appreciate him uh, as well as we continue yes, these are the little girls uncle bravo as with these little girls at their home they're very happy uh, to see it and we're very very humbled meeting us as we continue we'll also show you yes um this is elijah uh, that was elijah and wallen and this is uh, Aloysius Kasoma, uh, our you know, team. Then we have uh, engineer Solomon Ayebare, a uh, civil engineer, uh, who loves also giving back to communities. Aloysius Kasoma is a journalist and uh, is a writer, is the person behind uh, all this work that you see that he does. All these young men are very passionate about the kind of work we do. Yes, we continue to, as you see, uh, love communities. Um, now take you a little bit back and you see here these are little children we found them when they were playing their game and we joined some of us missed the same uh, kind of game so many many years ago over 40 years ago that uh, uh, we last had the same game so when we continue as you see yes this is our team when we this is our team uh, we are crossing along uh, Milo Tatu those who know the region of Mbali uh, we had uh, the gentleman in white is uh, Emmanuel Odong is the you know uh, population officer of uh, Tororo, and he took us through to identify these children in that very village. So as we continue, yes, that is Palisa. We we had the journey in Palisa as well. I will take you to Palisa as well briefly. I will take you to uh, Palisa. When we went to Palisa, um, Palisa, that is the Palisa when we 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 had to follow up Shakur. Of course, when we go to Palisa. Where our first stage was this place. This was um, Palisa Gardens, and we are with the manager of Palisa Gardens, and we we're showing him uh, the person we are looking for, uh, Shakur Omiyat, and it is through him that we got the person who led us to this village of Shakur Omiyat. Yes, after here we went. Of course, these are grandmothers of the village. We met these young little children. Most of them are not in school. Most of them were surprised on, you know, why we were in their community. But they received us and we were very, very happy. We had a very good reception. So when we got here, um, yes, uh, we found that uh, 
Yes, Omiyat had gone deep to the garden. Um, if you look at these children, they are hired to work as scarecrows. Um, you know, the season of rice, so that they scare away the birds. And, you know, birds destroy rice. So here they had brought him when they knew that we were on the village looking for him. The Boda Boda man had to run because he knew where exactly he was with the grandmother. So they returned, so we met them here. After that, we went through, you know, we walked some distance to their house. The grandmother was taking us through her challenges, we were taking us through uh, whatever she's faced ever since this uh, boy went into social media and, you know, the internet, on TV, everywhere. So we had a very good chat with her as a grandmother. She's a young grandmother of 45 years. Yes, when you look at, uh, a little bit, let me take you back. When you look at this, this is uh, Omiat. Omiat is with his uncle. This is the son on the on, on the right, on the left, it, it is the son uh, of of the grandmother of uh, Omiyat. They are young little children because the mother is about 45 years as well. So he's with the uncle, also who doesn't go to school. When you continue, yes, this time we were, we were come by the grandmother and uh, she gave us, you know, seats where to sit, very receptive and she was greeting us here. Um, you know, we're listening to her and uh, yes, this time here we we're also going through her narrative, her story and of course you can see how Miat is with us, they are posing, very very happy, very happy young man, you know, I like the happiness, you know, his, his jolly and yes, he couldn't talk to us because of language. Yes, um, here we're having good time with him, uh, this time we're, you know, going through, we had uh, uh, somebody who is a community person in the region who was also taking us through uh, the story of this young man as we we're all listening uh, we moved forward that is the uncle of Omiat here we are hearing from the uh, the person in, in you know in the community as well and here this young man who was looking at us from a distance and he was wondering what is happening and he was also you know like I wish I could go to school but we told him the support Omiat, maybe you'll be next. Yes, uh, this is the auntie also, an auntie. Uh, she's the auntie of Omiat. Uh, as you can see, young, she's the daughter of the grandmother, so she becomes the auntie uh, of, uh, of Omiat. She's also young, but not going to school, and she would also like support if you're out there and you'd want to support this little girl as well. Feel free to join up hands with Bravo She's going to support organization. Yes, when we come here, we, yes, uh, we are here, the community, that's the grandmother, they were having their good time here, as you can see, the uncle and the auntie, uh, and then the, the other little children as well in the community who are with us, they're having their game, they took us through their game there. Now here we had um, the CDO, the senior CDO of Palisa. Uh, district. So we, we met with him, he was talking to the family uh, and of course, you know, he was taking us through the legal processes. Uh, it's legal. When you visit families, you're supposed to legally contact the CDO. The CDO is the Community Development Officer or the Probation Officer. Either of the two that you can get to, they will get you through the process. So he facilitated our being uh, in Palisa and we're very, very humbled in a special way. Yes, as we continue, those are the two children and the grandmother. Then here we are hearing from them as uh, they're giving us their story of what is happening. Uh, this is the house. This was a small house. We happen to know this was a small house where she lives. And that small house, um, just to take you back, the small house uh, was built by someone, a good Samaritan. So here we're having a good time. We, are, you know, we were with NTV and uh, here we're taking our interviews. And here, this was, this is the chairman LC1, the gentleman you see, is the chairman LC1. Um, he was happy seeing us and meeting us. He was with these children who says, many of these children do not access education, please could you help us? We say, don't worry, we've just started and we'll be able to support more as time comes on. Yes, um, briefly, this is the grandmother once again, um, the grandmother, this is Uncle Bravo. Definitely, uh, he was posing into the, you know, the, that place is very nice as you're getting to, you know, to their home. Yeah, how we used to grow up in the village as well, you know, that kind of setup uh, of the fence. Um, then, yes, when we went, we came here, we found uh, this little ch young man, I'll take it back, he was, uh, you know, he does bricklaying at his age of nine, he does uh, bricklaying, 
And when we ask him why, where does he go to school, he doesn't go to school, but he says, yes, he would love to go to school as well. We promise that, yes, when we get funders, I mean funds, then we can be able to come also and take him to school. So he took us through his work, his daily work, how he does it. Yes, that is his life as well. Um, yes, this is the also an officer in the, the, at the district uh, who, who, who handles labor uh, in the, the labor department. Of course, you know, there's gender and labor and he handles that in the whole of district of Palisa. He was very receptive to us, uh, gave us, uh, you know, a very good conducive atmosphere while we were there and we would like to appreciate him in a special way. The district was very, very welcoming, very passionate, very happy and seeing that somebody can move from here to, uh, to their district to give uh, support. Yes, uh, this is the CDO, uh, our CDO poll. Uh, very happy, uh, Paul, and we would uh, like to appreciate him for the kind work he's, he's done as a great young man uh, who welcomed us, took us through the legal documentation that he needed and everything he has facilitated our being uh, in the district and we're very, very happy uh, for the reception. Yes, and of course, last but not least, yes, Palisa District has got very good, you know, rice they, they you know they have rice on a small scale uh, but they produce rice uh, this is where most children go and and keep the buds of their rice you know it's it's a flat land of course you know as Teso region is a flat land so these are all shambas and areas uh, of rice in that region so they are farmers they are um, subsistent farmers but they are doing some great work much as they have a lot of challenges uh, most especially uh, in many children that are um, on the streets, many children that don't go to school, and those who are, you know, being put in child in, in labor. Child labor is very common, and it's too much uh, on that side. So thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure. We thought let's get it to update you, and yes, as we update you, we just wanted to give you just the story of how we traveled to this beautiful place of Teso and most especially uh, Palisa district. Once again, if you come from Palisa, we appreciate you and we'll be humbled supporting more children uh, in Palisa district. Thank you so much guys and have a great day. Thank you.